Hi, good people. Thank you for tuning into our channel. First things first, I would like to apologize to you, my fans and my subscribers. I started this channel with the promise of doing one video every week and I missed last week's upload. I am so, 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 so sorry. Please accept my apologies for that. To make it up, I am providing two videos discussing one of the most widely discussed topics, which is online sports betting. Yay! Hope you enjoy. And just as a reminder, if you're not subscribed to our channel, may I ask that you first click the subscribe button so you never miss any of these videos from us. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hey, look, a new subscriber. Online betting is all over in our faces as Africans. When you're watching your favorite program on TV, you're likely to see one of the many betting ads that are flighted. On digital platforms as well, whether you're on Facebook, on YouTube, if you're an ardent reader, you'll also see the ads on print and out of home media such as billboards. In many African countries, currently the sports betting industry is the highest spender in advertising. This is despite recent laws and regulations that control the sector that have been implemented in different countries including Uganda, Kenya, Nigeria and South Africa. The last three are said to be the big ones to watch since they contribute the lion's share of gambling revenue. In today's video, we explore the online sports betting industry in Africa in detail and we chat a bit more about why it is growing rapidly and what this means for the youth in different African countries. Betting was once a taboo and frowned upon by many. In many parts of the world, it still remains a taboo to date and is outlawed. However, there have emerged frameworks that have enabled bookmakers, which is the name given to the companies providing betting services, to provide betting services to bettors across the world. The sports betting market is also one of the fastest growing in the world. In 2009, the sports betting market in the world was valued at just $20 billion, and in 2016, it had doubled in value to $40 billion. The industry is expected to be worth $60 billion by the year 2020. This represents 10% year-on-year growth. Comparing this with the growth of other sectors like fast-moving consumer goods, which is growing at 5%, the overall global GDP, which is growing at 3.4%, and other segments such as banking, which is is actually declining and insurance which is relatively flat at 1% year on year then you can see how big betting is becoming in the current year. These figures of course do not capture illegal gambling and underground gambling rings that happen in many parts of the world. In Africa the largest gambling market is of course South Africa. This is then followed by Nigeria and Kenya. It is hard to determine the exact size of the market in African countries since this has remained a closely guarded secret by the betting companies and the regulators. Let's face it, Africans love football. Football is actually the most popular sport in all African countries, despite rugby and cricket being strong contenders in certain African countries such as South Africa and Kenya. Football is a very exciting game, and the tension it creates between teams, between friends, and even family is to die for. With every fan trying to blow their team's trumpet the loudest, often it ends up at a wager, where somebody agrees to put their money where their mouth is. This is probably the greatest reason why gambling companies, often referred to as bookmakers, are investing in sports betting in Africa. They allow funds to do exactly that, put their money where their mouth is. And if the outcome favors them, they earn a profit. If not, they lose the money that they had staked. According to a survey done by Geopol, football betting reigns highest in African countries, especially in Kenya, in Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, and Nigeria. South Africa is actually heavier on lotteries as the main form of gambling. However, sports betting is also growing very rapidly. The bookmakers realize the fact that football is huge in Africa, and this is largely the reason they are creating strategic partnerships to drive growth on their platforms. One of the most strategic partnerships is with MultiChoice Africa, which is the provider of the DSTV satellite television service that most African countries rely on to watch the different football matches. Another strategic partnership is team sponsorships that many African bookmakers have signed. Some of the most notable ones are SportPesa's partnership with Hull City, Arsenal, Southampton and Everton. Betway has also been involved in many sponsorships as well. They have sponsored West Ham United, Werder Bremen, Deportivo Alaves and many other teams. As of the year 2019, it is possible to get a decent smartphone. Well, it will be quite low end, but decent enough to work. And this will just cost you $50. And most feature phones are available from as low as $15 to $20. 
This is the reason why Africa has 80% mobile penetration on average, with the three countries, Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya, reporting some of the highest mobile penetration figures, with more than 90% mobile penetration in the countries. If you add on the fact that globally, consumers are moving to use their mobile phones more, it creates the perfect environment for bookmakers to make huge profits. When we come to the end of 2019, it is expected that almost half of digital sports bets will be placed via mobile. This has grown from just 20% in 2016, pointing at the way consumers are responding to the ease of access of mobile phones across the world. Many bookmakers are thus making their offerings available on both feature and smartphones, thus making it easy for bettors to wage their hard-earned money. At the same time, they also provide incentives such as free data bundles to allow bettors to try and access their platforms with ease. Fifty-five percent of Africa's population is between the age of 15 and 64 years. When we dig even further, we find that 20% of Africa's population is between the ages of 15 and 24. This translates to roughly 250 million people. This means that Africa's population is quite young and prime for engaging with the betting industry. When you overlay the challenge of poverty, then what we find is that two in every five Africans live below the poverty line. This creates an even bigger opportunity for gambling because gambling presents an opportunity to get rich quick because of the low risk involved but with very high reward if the bet is in your favor. The use of technology driven by mobile phones and smartphones also makes it easy for betting companies to target the poor in the countries. Most of the betting companies send out localized messages based on an individual's income, residence, Facebook information and other data that they have to profile their target market. With the environment showing a youthful population and high levels of poverty, it is easy to see how online sports betting would present a great value proposition. Most bookmakers allow stakes as low as half a dollar, and this can deliver a win of up to $100. Imagine that! This is much more than the $1 to $2 that most people struggle to live on on a daily basis. In the survey done by Geopol, it is noted that the majority of those who bet are between the ages of 17 and 35 years, and gambling frequency is on the rise, with one in every two youths having tried to bet at least once in their lives. By country, we see high betting frequency, with more than half of the bettors placing at least one bet every week. This number is much higher for Kenya at 71% and lowest for South Africa at 25%. The Geopol report also spells out a stunning fact that most youth in sub-Saharan Africa are spending up to $50 every month on betting. When you overlay this with the fact that one in every six, that is just 17% of the youth, are engaged in gainful employment, this means that many bettors would rely on borrowing as their main source of income to spend on betting. With the relatively high availability of digital mobile lending apps, this can create a perpetual cycle of debt where the better has to borrow to bet and when they win they repay back what they had borrowed but then they have to borrow it again for them to start betting again. You can watch our video on the topic of digital mobile lending by clicking on the notification here or using the link in the description for you to learn more on digital mobile lending. Mobile money is also a significant chunk of the betting success equation. Mobile money makes it easy for bettors to deposit and withdraw funds from their betting accounts, thus removing the traditional barriers of entry to placing your first bet. The digital lending apps are also integrated with mobile money, where the loan can be disbursed to the borrower's mobile money account once it is approved. This makes it easy for the borrower to use the cycle of borrowing, spending it on gambling, and then repaying back the amount that they had borrowed. Despite this likely negative consequence of betting, many Africans find themselves borrowing from these digital lending apps in the hope of striking big in their gambling adventure. So there you have it. These are some of the reasons why gambling is the fastest growing industry in Africa. As I conclude, I hope you have greatly enjoyed this video and you have a better understanding of the gambling industry in Africa. Please feel free to leave a comment in the box below and let us know what your thoughts are on the gambling industry in Africa. Do you think it should be regulated or left unregulated? Let us know what you think. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for you to get future notifications on our videos. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.